Earlier this week, the deadliest natural disaster of its kind in the 21st century occurred. This disaster involved a destructive landslide which struck on May 24th in a remote section of Papua New Guinea, approximately 41 kilometers west-northwest of the regional capital of Wabag. This landslide began at 3 a.m. local time, the absolute worst time of day when everyone was in their homes sleeping. All of a sudden, a faint rumbling began which continued to get louder and louder as an estimated 600,000 cubic meters of the adjacent Mount Mongolo collapsed all at once. Advancing at a speed of an estimated 40 meters or 131.2 feet per second, a wall of rock up to 130 feet thick struck its first structure a mere 4 seconds later, leaving absolutely no time to escape. As the slant side continued, building after building in a densely populated area was destroyed, with the slide coming to a rest about 780 meters, or 2,559 feet from its origin. Some boulders tumbled even further, rolling beyond the bounds of the continuous landslide block and crashing into homes and trees further down the slope. By the time the main phase of the landslide came to a rest 45 seconds after it began, an area equivalent to 18 American football fields had been completely covered in a thick mass of rock. Since it appears that around 100 homes were obliterated, this would indicate a death toll of at least 671 people. However, other sources suggest a wider ranging disaster with as many as 5,000 people missing. So, why did this landslide occur? I will quickly discuss potential causes mainstream news outlets have put forward, discuss additional possible causes they did not mention, and finally discuss the plausibility of each of these possible causes. It is true that this section of Papua New Guinea is incredibly rich in gold ore deposits, which largely formed 6 million years ago when magmatic fluids rich in gold intruded into Cretaceous and Tertiary Age sedimentary rocks depositing material in these units. However, there are no commercial gold mines which are close enough to the disaster area to have even had the potential to destabilize the mountainside. While there is recent evidence of digging on another nearby hill, this material was not connected to the region which collapsed and appears to have only been extracting dirt to grade the local roads with. Since I could find no evidence of even small-scale amateur mining of gold in the disaster area, I do not believe this to be the cause. As for the possibility of an earthquake triggering this disaster, a magnitude 4.5 earthquake did strike 118 kilometers to the west on May 18th. And between May 13th and 23rd, perhaps in association with this earthquake, two small landslides expanded on the same hillside which would eventually collapse. This could have indicated the initiation of a slow creep of a larger mass that eventually cascaded into a major disaster on May 24th. Based on a limited data set, ground shaking at the disaster site on May 18th likely approached 2-3% to the force of gravity, which is just barely above the scientifically accepted threshold needed to potentially trigger a landslide. Thus, an earthquake origin is plausible as the cause. Heavy rainfall is technically plausible as an origin, especially since the region receives 134 inches or 340 centimeters of rain a year. However, no official rain gauges exist near the disaster site, so I simply do not have enough information to comment further on this possibility. Since the mountainside which collapsed was largely composed of limestone, and limestone is highly susceptible to the formation of caves which remain hidden underground, could this have been the cause of the collapse? While technically plausible, we have found no direct evidence of such a cave existing. However, what I did find evidence of was the reduction of vegetation coverage on the hillside which would collapse between 2017 and 2024. On an adjacent hillside, there are burn scars from what is likely slash and burn vegetation. If this process clears enough of a hillside's vegetation, which naturally holds down underlying rock via its roots, it can destabilize the hillside and eventually result in a landslide. We don't know which of the aforementioned theories is what happened, with this subject likely to only be figured out months from now.